New at 11, a Japanese snack that showed up at a 7-Eleven store in San Francisco has gone viral. It's called onigiri, but there are a couple of wrinkles here. First, the store wasn't selling it, and there's no partnership with San Francisco Mayor London Breed. Second, uh, they were made by a woman who was hoping to get the convenience store to carry it. ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell spoke with the creator as well as the store owner who thinks it's a great idea. Danielle Baskin is walking into this 7-Eleven on San Francisco's Sansom Street on a mission and the mayor's face on a homemade Japanese snack. I recently went to Japan and if you're not familiar with onigiri, it's this very popular rice ball in a triangle shape wrapped in seaweed. And I've just dreamed of this being available everywhere in the US. So the artist took matters into her own hands this week, making the snacks at home complete with packaging. Why did you want to have the mayor's face on this? <laughs> yeah, um, so <laughs> I thought, that there could be a world in which, like, the mayor tried to get them in San Francisco. As for the mayor herself, she's not endorsing this product. Her office confirming there is no partnership. But that's not slowing Danielle down, determined to get onigiri into stores. I thought the only way to do it would be to stage that it already existed versus just walking into 7-Eleven and asking, will you buy this? And staging it is exactly what she did. She found a spot on this shelf to place the product and rallied her friends to come get in line, posting it all on social media. So many people were excited about getting an onigiri, but this sort of spread on the internet uh, as a different world in which you could purchase them at 7-Eleven. And as it turns out, that might soon be possible, managing to catch the owner's interest. A day after we did this stunt, so many people came in looking for them. 30 or 40 people is looking for it and the same thing, triangle sushi or triangle, I think with the, I think uh, inside the rice. So then I tell her, if, she, if do you have, so send to me. She said, I will try. And so Danielle is getting to work. And so tonight I'm figuring out the logistics with different commercial kitchens uh, to manufacture them. And she's hoping to make the delivery as soon as possible. But the demand is there. I think people uh, were so excited that this could be a possibility. It's a very good snack. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.